How are you feeling? Petrified. <laughs> Come on, give me that ballpark figure then. Sub 10. Sub 10, Zoe, sub 10 for you as well? Hopefully, yeah. Good for you. Jane's a sub 10 as well. Je yeah, you are. I'm just looking forward to the finish. Ah. Don't show me your watch at the end, remember? I don't care. 60 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Pressing it is still going. Enjoy yourself. So I got to start the race. That was a bit fun, wasn't it? Um, so now we're going to head up to uh, the first place that I'm going to meet Victoria, which is a place called the Farmer's Grave, because uh, it is a farmer's grave <laughs> uh, on the on the South Landsway route. Well done, Ali. Right, Keep it going. Hi, Mark. Here comes Jane. Well done, Jane. All right, Vic. How's it going? Hanging in there. Good, good, good. How are you guys doing? Yeah, good. Yeah? Yeah. How you feeling? Fed up. Fed up? It's a beautiful sunny day. It's actually quite warm. Well, you've only got 35 miles to go. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy yourselves. You better crack on. Yeah, you better have. Right, so Victoria is at 15 miles here at Devil's Dyke. She has a... Uh, done that in three hours so she's actually ahead of our planned schedule I mean there was you know there's a vague schedule of 12 hours for the whole race now I honestly think she could probably do it quicker than that um, so the, the plan is basically just to go out and enjoy the day and make sure she's under the cutoff uh, at the moment she is uh, she's well ahead of both cutoff and our kind of 12 hour goal I just hope she doesn't crash and burn in the second half of the race. Right, so we've made it to the Jack and Jill windmills. Hi Zoe! I feel like I'm in a comfortable rhythm. Good. Well, you're well ahead of your, your planned time. I know, target. I know, which is worrying. Yeah, well, just, just keep calm. As long as you feel relatively comfortable, just keep going. Yeah, I'm trying um, to do it to feel. Right, so there she is. She's looking good. She's well ahead of our planned time, but she's feeling comfortable. So uh, we'll just uh, continue. <laughs> Climbing up a hill out of Housedean Farm and uh, Jen's doing really well. Thank you. Hello gang, how are 
How's it going? Yeah, really well. Yeah, really happy. Good, good, good. Only they pushed me over. Oh, yeah. what? That's terrible. That's making that isn't very nice of you, no. though. You alright? Oh, I felt really sick Well, it's cooled down now. Yeah, which doesn't help. But I just can't eat. You're alright, you, well, you survived. Some um, melon and pineapple at that last time. Right, okay. <laughs> car park. Uh, we're on the top of the South Downs. Uh, Victoria is just climbing out of the aid station at South Ease. So she has about 15, 14 or 15 miles to go and uh, she's about three or four miles away from here. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just keep running, keep yeah. running. If you start running and move fast, you won't need your coat. I am not moving fast. <laughs> So, um, how are you feeling? Okay, I'm fatigued. Yeah. Obviously. Um, I'm just getting it done. What is it? About 14k to go, is it? Uh, yeah, whatever, eight miles or something. Eight and a half miles, I would say. My legs are threatening to cramp. Gosh, it's getting cold now. So it is just before six o'clock. So Victoria is about to climb the final climb out of Jevington, uh, which is about a mile climb to the uh, trick point where we're heading now. And then she's got three miles to run down into Eastbourne to the finish. Jen, you were going for 10 hours, what happened? You just, <laughs> you, you just big time messed up, didn't you? I did, yeah. What was it? I ran too fast. 9, 9.29? 9.29 by the skin of my teeth. Good for you, well done. Yeah. You weren't going for a time today, were you? You were pacing Rob for his 100 pacing, miler. I was pacing Ray. Ray, yeah, yeah. sorry, not Rob. Yeah, well yeah, done, Ray. Yeah. So are you do, what are you doing? South Downs Way 100? Yeah, South Downs Way 100, yeah. So actually, that whole 50 that you've just done, mostly be in the dark yeah. then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. It's nice well to see in the <laughs> <laughs> So proud of you. Done it in well under 11 hours. You're going to finish in like it's 10 and a half hours, Vic. I'm so tired. Oh, my God. <laughs> you loved it! You bloody loved it! Charge your medal. First 50 mile race done in 10 hours 36 minutes. Do you know what? I looked at you and you looked very strong and you were powering the last time I saw you up the, up the hill out of um, the 
the golf club at uh, Pikeham. Oh, okay. And you were strong. Oh, right. Yeah. I was uh, very yeah. good. I thoroughly enjoyed so, it. So, what did you most of it? I did 906. 906. I know. That's I quality. I'm very I could that not have quality. given it any I'm I'm bugged when I finished. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. This is a YouTube channel. It's not the BBC. <laughs> Your, what was your most favourite bit of the whole run? I don't know. Up until that last 10k. I mean, mo I have to say, mostly I enjoyed it, but that last 10k was just hideous. Because you were so tired? Just completely and utterly fatigued. I had nothing more to give. That last hill, I would have given anything to have just curled up on the side of that path. But and I walked, and I walked down that gully. I couldn't run. But you must have run but along I, the road because yeah, you came in quicker ran, than I expected. I ran the entire road section. I don't know how I did it. I was just so tired. It's a little bit of adrenaline when you know you're near the end. I think. Well, very good. Well, I hope you're proud of yourself.